Hi everyone, my name is Ken Yu. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Biomedical Informatics at Harvard Medical School. In this brief session, I would like to give you an overview of our research works on integrative machine learning for digital pathology. Machine learning is a core technology underlying the current explosion of artificial intelligence applications. In my lab, we aim to model human level intelligence by machine learning approaches. First, we aim to build robust clinical prediction models to predict important clinical outcomes based on pathological and molecular features. And we further build causal and mechanistic models to better understand the molecular mechanisms underpinning pathology manifestations and clinical outcomes. The goal of my research in the group is to develop a high performance, interpretable, generalizable, robust, and fair machine learning algorithms to enhance pathology research and practice. Pathology evaluation, as many of you know, provides the definitive diagnosis of cancers. This needs to be performed by trained pathologists, where they acquire the sample, make the sample into thin microscopic slides, send them with appropriate chemicals, and observe them under the microscope. And this process has helped us define disease types. But the process can be uh, pretty laborious because it's a, a purely manual process. And in some cases, integrated disagreement was also reported. So in my group, we aim to develop computational image processing pipelines to enable the instruction of objective features directly from the images by passing any human intervention. And here's an overview of my image analysis platform. First, we build this deep learning based image analytical system to identify the features related to our outcomes of interest. So first, we obtain the whole slide piece of pathology images. These are the high resolution uh, whole slide piece of pathology scans con consisting of a few billions of pixels per sample. And we divide them into distinct training and test sets to facilitate our machine learning process. And one challenge we would encounter here is that the low dimension of these slides are huge, several billions of pixels. And uh, the file size is large, and not every region will contain useful biological signals. For example, we have regions of purely background and some artifacts. In order to solve this problem, we build an automated regions of interest selection system to identify the regions likely contain pathological changes. And we, here we select the images with high cellular density. And we also incorporate image correction to correct for potential batch effects from different scanners and the tissue type from different batches. And we also augment the images to further facilitate our machine learning processes. Once we have collected the regions of interest, we feed these selected views into machine learning models. In this case, a deep convolutional neural network model to connect the images with our outcomes of interest. And we further visualize the features in our models to better interpret what's going on in our models and how our models perform well in any clinical applications. So we visualize these features and interpret these models accordingly. And here's an overview of our diagnostic system for various types of cancers. And essentially, our machine learning based system can diagnose cancers with expert level performance in many use cases. The figure panel on the left shows the performance of detecting malignant regions in our slides. And we showed that the performance is near perfect in our use cases. And we can further distinguish the different cancer subtypes based on these image manifestations. And we show that we have a pretty good area under the curve of more than 88 to 93% in identifying the subtypes of many solid cancers, including glioma and solid cancers of other organs, as well as pathological cancers. In addition to identifying the cancer subtypes and disease diagnosis from the physical pathology side, we further connected the molecular signatures of the same samples to better identify the relations between molecular and pathology manifestations. And here's an overview of our results published in cell systems. 
Essentially, we are able to build a prediction model using the gene expression features to predict the pathology manifestations, including the pathology differentiation levels. And we show that not only we have a decent performance in our classifier, we can further perform enrichment analysis to identify the signatures related to our pathological changes. And here we show that cell cycle, DNA replication, among many other biological pathways, are highly correlated with our differentiation level observed in basal pathology. And we can further look into the interconnections between these molecular pathways to better identify the molecular insights underpinning our pathology observations. We further put the model to predict the gene and mutation status by just looking at the slide. So here we develop a machine learning system to systematically examine our extracted image features and identify which one of those are associated with the mutation status of pp frequency gene, an important tumor suppressor. And here we show that after correcting for multiple tests, we can identify a few image features associated with the mutation status, including the distribution level of the cytoplasmic intensity of the pixels and the texture features of the nucleus regions in our pathological scans. And we show that these features are reliable predictors of the mutation status of TP53. And not only we can connect both pathology and the molecular patterns, we can further integrate both molecular signatures and pathology profiles to attain better survival prediction. In the figure on the left, we show a gene expression only model published in the previous literature. But unfortunately, we are not able to reproduce these results in our new cohort, showing that there is some generalizability issue in this gene expression only model. However, if we incorporate both gene expression patterns and quantitative pathology features, we are better able to provide survival prediction for the better um, prediction performance in distinguishing the longer term survivors from the shorter term survivors, showing that our integrated approach may have greater generalizability comparing with the established gene expression only model. And currently, we are extending our pipeline to predict the treatment response in order to optimize treatment selection. And in this published example, we successfully predicted the treatment response of another solid cancer type ovarian cancer. Where the first time treatment is pretty standard, most of the patients diagnosed with advanced ovarian cancer receive this first time platinum based chemotherapy. And the mechanism of action is to chelate the DNA of the tumor cell and initiate apoptosis. However, 62% of the ovarian cancer patients will suffer from recurrent cancer within six months of chemotherapy completion, showing that this approach may not work for everyone. So the question to ourselves is, can we build a reliable crystal ball to predict the patient treatment response before we administer this highly toxic treatment regimen? And if we have such reliable prediction model, we may be able to avoid ineffective treatment. And this is a research work um, with a few talented graduate students in my lab, including Eliana, Vincent, Becky, and Chen. And long story short, our research shows that we can pretty much identify the treatment response using the diagnostic slide collected before any treatment was assigned to the patient. In our case, we are able to differentiate the patient with early tumor relapse from those with late relapse based on the pathological signatures we observed at the time of diagnosis. And we further extrapolate our model to predict the immunotherapy response and show that there are certain pathological signatures indicative of such treatment response. In summary, here we show that we can develop a fully automated method to evaluate our pathology site objectively and predict patient diagnosis and survival. We further show that we can incorporate both genomic features and physiopathology patterns to better reveal the molecular process on the pinning tumor cell morphology. And last but not least, our machine learning methods can identify the pathology patterns indicative of treatment response and facilitate treatment optimization. 
and now we'd like to thank everyone in my lab and our collaborators to, to make this research possible. And thank you for your attention.